Hey there everyone, welcome back to another RMFC video. I'm your host Jordan and today we are going to be going through um, all of the latest news that's happened over the last week. So this includes the uh, FA um, inquiring and now just latest news fining Middlesbrough Football Club for the reaction after the match towards the officials against Swansea. Um, we've got Jake Steele being out for the season. Um, we have got Borough after Kadeem Harris and coming up at the end of it we're going to be talking about our winner of the competition for the Tom Flight book You Joke and Aren't So stick around guys and enjoy the video. So kicking us off then, yep the FA did indeed launch an investigation, no idea why, into the reaction after the game against Swansea. Um, and this was mainly due to um, Neil Warnock's comments on the officials and how poor they were um, and the, the whole club really just being disappointed as you would because there were some poor decisions in that match and that did go against us and ultimately cost us the points. But today, latest news has broke that the FA have actually fined the club. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much but the club has been fined, um, so the investigation that they carried out has supposedly been successful. Um, now, this is a massive issue I think the FA have always had with this football club. Um, yeah, let's move on. Um, so the next one, Jake Steele out for the season. That came in the Swansea game, which is where the match officials went wrong as well. There was an off the ball challenge, it didn't look like there was too much in it, to be fair, um, but he's obviously he's clicked, I think it was his heel again, or his ankle, um, which is where the, he had a, an injury earlier on, well, in his Borough career, that set him out for you know pretty much the full season. He came back towards the end of it, but he looks like he's reignited that injury, so he will be out for the rest of the season, which will be a big miss, because he's been playing excellently of late. Um, and all season he's just been solid at the back um, and shown the fans what he's all about and what he's capable of as well as a player and he, he, he could be a really solid defender for us over the next few years um, going forward so he'll be a big miss but hopefully you know we've got the likes of Fisher to kind of um, step into his place um, and you know cover but you know speedy recovery Jake hopefully back, back better and uh, fit soon. Um, then the next one, we were talking about a um, former Warnock player that he was managed under, um, Kadeem Harris. Um, it, it spoke about a couple of days ago that uh, Warnock is interested in the 27-year-old. Um, he knows what he's all about. He's fast, he's skillful, um, and he's actually out of contract at his current club, Sheffield Wednesday, in the summer. So on a free transfer, this could be an absolute brilliant signing. You know, Warnock spoke about filling in the gaps of between 24 to 29 year olds, and he fits that perfectly in the middle. Um, and like you say, it would make um, a great signing considering the likes of Cabano, um, unsure on um, Mendes Lang. He's out of contract in the summer. Uh, Balassi would be going back to his parent club as well. You've got all these attacking players that we've currently got that might not have a future at the club come the summer. So bringing someone like Kadeem Harris in would be an excellent signing and he knows all about him as well. But let me know your thoughts on that. Um, if you think Kadeem Harris would be worth bringing to the club and you know, you'd know you like to see him here, then let me know in the comments um, and let me know like you say, what your thoughts are on him. Um, and if you're listening on the podcast, please share with us on social your thoughts on him um, and, and just let us know what your opinions would be on that kind of transfer, bringing someone in that Warnock's previously worked under, uh, worked with, sorry. Um, yeah, sounds good. Um, last thing is today, I don't know if you've, well, you, you will have seen it when this video goes out, but we have announced the winner of our co uh, competition. It was uh, Miles. Um, so congratulations, Miles. Um, but this is just a little announcement to everyone else. Please stick around, you know, make sure you go and follow us on all of our socials. They're all linked in the description. Um, and if you're watching on the podcast, listening on the podcast, sorry, be sure to head over to our Facebook, 
Um, normally, just type in at RMFC, you know, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, um, Twitter, run them all, even even TikTok now as well, and that's going really well. So make sure you follow us and stay tuned because, like I say, we've got loads more competitions coming um, and loads of prizes for you guys to win because the support has been amazing and it's so nice to be able to just give something back to you guys. Um, so yeah, like I said, stick around and if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel um, and if you're listening on the podcast, please leave a review. Thank you guys and see you later.